Want to help support Juno Cigars? Two great ways to do it, smokeagoinshop.com and on Patreon. So click those links in the description below and help support this great cigar channel. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Joe with Jonas Cigars. That's right, the Cigar Gangster is back in the house. I'm alive. It's been it's almost, been, it's been a, almost a, long a year. Time. Yeah. I mean, it's been a long time, but I'm, ha I'm happy to be back. Very yeah, happy. you were just commenting, because I told you we are going to be smoking a Rocky Patel cigar, and you said how very mainstream Pretty of me. Pretty plebeian for yeah. you, really. <laughs> you can get All those right. in cigar shops. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> Let's calm down. No, but I've Goodness. never heard of this one, right. so it must be right. Well, okay, so Rocky Patel recently have released to the market two new blends. Okay. One's a $10 cigar, or $11 cigar, and one's a $100 cigar. Which one are we going to be smoking tonight? I, I'm going to hope for the $100 cigar. <laughs> you are so wrong! <laughs> <laughs> no! I thought we were friends. <laughs> All right, $10, no. that's fine. No, we're, we're smoking the Rocky Patel Dark Star okay. uh, in Toro. This is a 6x52 straight Parejo Toro. Featuring a very interesting blend. We got Nicaraguan, Honduran, and Paraguayan mm. long fillers. Interesting. As well as a Honduran binder and a Honduran Corojo wrapper. Don't see a whole lot of Corojo Honduran yeah. uh, wrappers. Uh, I, I imagine Honduran wrappers hard to grow. I don't know. I, you just I don't, don't see it very often. Looking at the cigar, nice looking stick. Um, a little extra on the band work. Yeah, very but, fancy. You know, it's not. I, I don't mind it, especially foot bands. I kind of like foot bands. Uh, as long they as it serve comes a purpose. Off. Yeah. Does it come off? Let's see. Does it slide does, off easy? Slide. Mm. Did mine doesn't want to slide off? Mm, okay, I'm gonna see if I can tear this. Oh gosh. I oh, don't want to hurt turn. this beautiful it's... Honduran Corojo wrapper. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, nice looking wrapper on the wrapper on this cigar few visible veins, but very nice tight seams. Nice mocha chocolate sort of brown coloring on the cigar. Simple looking double cap. Pre-light aromas. Hmm. A little bit of a funky barnyard sort of. I was gonna say a very, uh, yeah, very rural. Mm. <laughs> Pasture-like. <laughs> and you know, I mean, it, it's a very pretty cigar, but it doesn't scream Dark Star. I would have thought, no, like, like, very dark Maduro type thing, but no. I am interested in the name choice. Mm -hmm. um, now, as I've been doing lately, I am doing the humidimeter testing to see what the humidity level is for these cigars before I light up, just to make sure that they are coming in at the right... All right, mine is at 64. That's pretty good. That's good. Uh, if you want to go ahead and try yours. Here we go. 69. Hold on. Give it a second. <laughs> it comes down a little bit. Yeah. 66? 66. Yeah. 66. Good. Not too bad. I like mine to be somewhere between 60 and 65. 66 isn't horrible. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start cutting. Check out the cold draw. Oh, you're going with the V cut. I went V cut today. I don't know why. Just felt right. I'm just doing the straight guillotine cut. Hmm. Hmm. First of all, getting a lot of Fig Newton. Oh, really? Yeah. I was thinking of a fruity, nutty thing. Like okay, yeah. Fruitcake kind of vibe. But it's also just got a very bold, <laughs> sounds stupid, natural tobacco sort of flavor yeah, to it. Yeah, you know? it's still very, uh, very rustic. Mm hmm. Got a good feeling draw to it as well. Let's go ahead and start toasting, see what Let's we can it. find out. Good drop. Yeah. Very good drop. <clears throat> okay, off the first few puffs. I'm actually getting a lot of coffee notes. Espresso. <laughs> Espresso. There is some dried fruit sweetness in there as well. Smoke texture is very smooth. Not a whole lot of spice. No, very, very... Maybe medium, but maybe yeah. mild even. Medium bodied for sure. It's got a lightly creamy sort of smoke texture. Very good draw, man. Very good. Mm -hmm. And the smoke output, very generous, which I like. Basically, my, my, if my face disappears on camera, that's a good sign that the smoke output is right where I want it to be. All right, good start. We'll let this go until we get a little further into the first third. See you then. 
All right, we are 10 minutes in, well into the first third, and burns pretty good, except for a little notch on this back part right mm. there. How about you, Mr. Stevens? I'm doing well. For once, I'm going slower. You were going slower That's than That's unusual. I have had a little bit, the band, or the wrapper was starting to come off a little bit at the top. Yeah, so maybe because we'll you chopped off like an inch of the cigar. I went cigar. a little too far. <laughs> Joe, Joe likes to blame the customer. <laughs> I don't. Customer's always right. All right, still medium body. Uh, flavors are nice and smooth. Um, we're starting to get, we had mentioned coffee and espresso. I'm getting Fig Newton. You're getting fruit cake. fruit cake type yeah. thing, dessert. I can get with fruit. that. Yeah. yeah. It's got kind of a sweet dried fruit. It's got some bready nuances in there. Almost reminded me of cookie a little bit. That's why I said Fig Newton. On the retro hill right now. Hmm. Now there is a little bit of baking spices on that retro hill. Yeah, it goes up to like medium full on the retro hill. Yeah. And I get a little nuttiness. Yeah. But I don't know, maybe For that goes sure. with the fruitcake. But... Yeah. I like the nuttiness on the retro hill. Uh, baking spices, I'm getting. <sighs> All right. Go ahead. This I one. always feel like I'm being highfalutin. <laughs> getting some cloves. Oh, I haven't even thought about cloves. I haven't thought about cloves in quite a while. I'm going to think about it. <laughs> and a little bit of pepper spice yeah, as well. I definitely got the pepper on the yeah. retro. Uh, smoke output's great. Draw is fantastic. Really am liking the way this one feels when you're puffing on it. It's got a nice balance to it. And uh, yeah, it's generally nice to look at too. It's, it's a nice good. looking scarf. Yep. All right, we'll let this go until we get about halfway through. We'll see you then. All right, we are 30 or so minutes in. My burn is a little bit weird. <sighs> it's got a little bit of canoeing here. And it's not the worst I've ever seen. Come on, focus in here. Show the people what I'm talking about. There we go. Yeah, see that? That's not great. I'm going to go ahead and give it a burn correct. But as far as construction goes, that's the only negative I can really think of. And I can touch this up pretty easy with the lighter. Draw is great. Draw is very good. Consistent. Yeah. Mine, mine's been really good. Yeah, you've had a pretty I've good I've had to burn. touch it up just a teeny bit, but uh, I had about an inch uh, long ash. It was good. Yeah. Uh, flavors are getting a little bit more earthy, but still maintaining some sweetness, which is really nice. There's a peaty smokiness coming through. This guy knows what he's talking about. It's, he said that, and I, immediately that is correct. And I get it a lot on the finish. Like, after you've let the smoke go and you're just sitting there for a while it really starts to grow on the palate it's really nice there's some gingerbread notes coming through mixing in with that fruit cake i was getting stuff like vanilla wafer a couple of times yeah, yeah. on the retro hill mm. Mm. more dried fruit a lot of pepper i was gonna say it's very the retro hill is really picked up in spice yeah. there's some real definite black pepper notes coming through and some earthiness on that retro also. There's some nuttiness there coming yeah. in on that retro also. Got a hazelnut vibe. Yeah, I can it's feel good. that. It's good. This is a great after dinner light. Not, it's not like gonna knock you out dessert yeah. type, but a good dessert when you're having a little, maybe scotch before you go to bed. The kids have been yelling this all would day. This would be a great scotch yeah, be, yeah, be great. This would be a really good scotch scar. All right, we'll let this go until we get towards the end of the stick. We'll see you then. Mm. All right, we're an hour and 15 minutes in. Down to the final third here. Burn's not terrible. It's not perfect, but it's okay. Did a burn touch up, obviously, after that last segment. But construction wise, we've had some issues. Here. I've I've had issues. Now, <laughs> I don't want to say, but one of us was blaming my cut, and that might be fair. So I don't know. But I went too deep on the V cut, but still, yeah, it's cracking. Know. It's a pretty lot. bad. It's pretty bad. This is quite demonstrably a pretty delicate wrapper. So user be warned treat this one gingerly and we talked about this off camera the yeah. band is very difficult to get off every part of the yeah wrap. and i love the way this band looks i think mm -hmm. it's very sharp looking yeah. i love the design i don't even mind the secondary bands in there what i do mind is when you can't tear the damn things off cleanly yeah. you have to actually rip the wrapper off and that's always a hazard for the actual wrapper of the cigar and yeah i yeah. had a i had a piece of the wrapper come off on one of mine <sighs> Cigar manufacturers, please start figuring out a way to get the bands to come off cleanly more regularly. Yeah. And this is just a, a big pet peeve of mine, and it's a big deal. It needs to be I'm good. It okay. needs to be acknowledged and administered to. All right, but let's talk about the actual cigar right now. Um, this is not a super complex cigar. 
there is enough flavors in there to keep my interest and the textures of the smoke and the flavors we are getting are very very good it's a balanced cigar it's very smooth it's very enjoyable the draw is fantastic yeah the draw has been perfect throughout. basically a perfect draw great smoke output uh the flavors we're getting now at this back end i mean it's sweet with earthiness some nuttiness there's some dried fruit a lot of natural tobacco sweetness mm -hmm. coming through on the retro hill right now hmm. now that's interesting oh i'm getting toasted almond now a, a re-emergence of baking spices coming through and some vanilla notes but it doesn't feel as spicy to me as the last it retro doesn't hill. I mean, there's spice, but it's not as robust as it was in the middle third. Spice kind of crescendoed in that middle third there. I do kind of like that, though. You can kind of control the spice by when and how often you retrohale yeah, yeah. on this one. Yeah, if don't you want no hell. spice, don't retrohale at all. Yeah. <laughs> You'll cut back on the amount of flavors you get if you do <laughs> that, but, you know. Uh, a decent cigar. Uh, I think it's decently priced. It's not uh, a super expensive cigar. Uh, I did like the way this, this thing felt when you, you smoked it. It smoked well. Um, I, I wish it wasn't quite so erratic in the burn, mm -hmm. um, but the flavors we were getting, they were clean, they were balanced, they were enjoyable. I mean, I'll probably smoke it again because I'm interested in it again, but uh, I don't know. Not one I'm super excited about. No, it's like, yeah, I'm not going to like rave about it, but you know, if I saw it and 10 bucks is very, very fair. If it were 20 bucks, I probably would never buy it again, mm -hmm. but at 10, I probably would. Yeah. So, yeah. A good it's, good. it's a yeah, good cigar it's a good cigar i know there's probably a lot of people who are really going to like the cigar and again i need to smoke this one again to get a full appreciation for what this blend is one cigar is not enough i'm gonna have to smoke it again and get a better idea as to what is this blends all about but i like the fact that he's using paraguay tobacco that's kind of cool uh i just in the last review i did talked about how i, w I don't smoke enough honduran tobacco well here we go it's my second go. review with a lot of honduran tobacco so Thank you so much for joining us for this review. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Click that icon bottom right corner if you're watching on YouTube. If you happen to be watching on Rumble, just look for the subscribe button towards the top right of the screen. Please don't forget to follow Jonas Cigars on Instagram. And please don't forget to follow my content on Cigar Public. If you like this review, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to Do subscribe. It. If you didn't like something, feel free to give me a thumbs down. But don't forget to tell me what you didn't like about it so I know what you're talking about moving forward with constructive criticism. Unless it's me, in which case, just keep silent. Yeah, if you don't like Mr. Stevens, sorry, he's only here like once Pound every five sand. years. That's so. right. Yeah, I'll be gone. Don't worry. <laughs> See you guys in the next review. Until next time, smoke a good one. <laughs>